Welcome back. We start in South Africa now on the second day of the International AIDS Conference in Durban. The event is packed with thousands of delegates, including dignitaries like UN Chief Ban Ki-moon and celebrities like Prince Harry and Elton John. It's only the second time South Africa has hosted the conference. It did so back in 2000. The return of the gathering to Africa is considered symbolic to take stock of how far the world has come in battling the virus. Security remains tight in the coastal city to ensure the safety of delegates. South African authorities say they hope the conference will lead to historic strides in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Well, it's hoped this conference will help consolidate the gains made in the fight against HIV over the past decade. Still, the number of infections remains concerning. CCTV's Susan Wongeli has more. Currently, around 34.9 million people worldwide live with HIV. A decade ago, that number stood at nearly 40 million. Access to treatment has vastly improved. In 2004, 2 million people died from AIDS-related causes each year. That number has fallen to around 1.2 million, a 40% drop. Now, 20 years ago, if you were diagnosed with HIV, you'd likely live for another 12 years. Today, a young person living with the virus can expect to live an average lifespan, but only with access to antiretrovirals. The global goal is to end the AIDS epidemic by 2030, and a crucial part of that is ensuring HIV treatment is widely available. That's where the 90 comes in. The aim is that by 2020, 90% of those infected with HIV will have been diagnosed. 90% of those HIV-positive patients must have access to treatment, and 90% of those being treated will be virally suppressed, meaning the amount of the virus in the bloodstream is reduced to undetectable level. It's a huge undertaking, but it's hoped this conference in Durban will see renewed commitment from governments, donors, and civil society organizations from around the world. Back to you.